Hey, what's up everybody? Crondon Smoker here again. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, some of the stuff uh, that you could get if you subscribe to the PlayStation Plus membership, uh, which is not a mandatory thing. Uh, like the Xbox Live, it's basically just an add-on. If you don't do it, you know, you could still obviously play your games online for free. Uh, they offer this in a one-year package for $49.99. I'm not sure if they still do the three months free. Uh, they did do that when it first came out. Uh, so you can get either one year or 15 months for $49.99, or you can do the three-month packages like I usually do. Uh, you know, 18 bucks gives you three months of uh, PlayStation Plus and all the features that it gives you. Uh, here, this is going to show you, you know, some of the new releases. They come out every Tuesday with, you know, new games, new themes, uh, new avatars to give, give away. Uh, some of them being free for PlayStation Plus and some of them being uh, discounted. Uh, like this one, Far Cry 2. You know, that one they're giving away for free. Uh, Fatal Inertia EX is given away for free. Uh, and if you don't have PlayStation Plus, you know, that would call, cost you 30 bucks. Uh, and granted that some of these games aren't things that you would, you know, go out and buy, you know, from GameStop or rush to go out and get House of the Dead 3 from Sega. You know, but at the same time, if it's free, it's for me. That's what I always say. I am the, uh, the trophy hunter style. You know, I love playing games, getting the trophies. And then, you know, once I'm done with it, I can just delete it off my PlayStation, you know, and it was all for free, so why not? Uh, this right here is basically the last chance menu. Uh, this shows you games before the Tuesday update comes out. Uh, games, avatars, themes, whatever is going to go away uh, for deal-wise for the PlayStation Plus, they're going to put in here, you know, just in case there's something that you see you want to get. Uh, this one here is the free games and download content. Uh, everything in here is free. So on this menu here, you know, if you're just looking for some free shit to play, you know, this is the menu to do it from. They, they got uh, add-ons like you see on that first row was uh, Cuboid, which I, I downloaded that game a while ago. They have more levels for it now for free. Uh, and you'll see all these mini games and add-ons and uh, full games, which most of them are, you know, usually older like PlayStation 2 games, things like that. But again, you know, they can be time killers if your network's down. You know, you just want to play a quick game of something, try to get a couple trophies and something. Uh, you know, it definitely comes in handy. On uh, this one here, you know, just going through uh, the full game trials that they have here. Or, excuse me, no, that's the discounted stuff. Uh, what I'm showing you now is the themes and avatars. Now, we'll get into full games in a little bit, well, which to me is the coolest part. Uh, here, you, you know, you can see some of the themes that they have for the PlayStation, whether it be like a live type moving dynamic theme or just the standard, you know, pictures and change the icons. Uh, most of them are free. You know, some of them do cost money, uh, usually under, you know, two, three bucks. Uh, so if you see something you really like, of course, you can get a little bit of discount or free uh, for the PlayStation Plus. And I'll just show you some of the avatars real quick. Nothing too, too crazy in here that I've seen. But, they, you know, they sell bundles for 99 cents, or you can get single ones. Me personally, as you can see down there, I got the uh, the Ken one from here, which brought me back to my 90s uh, gaming days of Street Fighter. Uh, but yeah, those are basically all your avatars and shit they have for free. Uh, my favorite part of PlayStation Plus is the free game trials the, for a full game. Uh, you get to play each game for an hour. Do whatever you want in it. It's basically like owning it. Uh, so this is definitely a cool thing. You can also, if there's early trophies, you can unlock the trophies as well. There's no lock on those. Uh, so like this one here, uh, you know, I'm going to try out Assassin's Creed's Brotherhood. Uh, it's been out for a while now. I have, I have yet to buy it. So, you know, one hour to try it out. Something if I like, you know, I'll go to the store and buy it. If not, you know, I could just delete it and I didn't waste any of my money. Uh, and obviously, you know, that's a seven gig, seven gig file. Uh, so it's something that you want to, you know, download in the uh, background. That's one down point of the PlayStation Network is the slow downloads, really, no matter how fast your internet connection is itself. With it being an overall free network, you know, it just it doesn't move as quick as an Xbox Live download would. So that's one downside of it. But, of course, you know, you got your Blu-ray and all that other shit. So I'm not here to, you know, compare the two. It's to each his own, I say. Uh, you know, gamers, you know, some gamers love their Xbox. Me, personally, I love PlayStation because I grew up on it. You know, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. You know, they never really changed the controller, so that's why I love it. Uh, but, yeah, there's, you know, there's some of the games there. I'll, I'll go through them real quick so you can see. They usually have a good amount uh, of games that you can try. 
uh, when you do finish one off, uh, a lot of times it'll be replaced with something else. As you can see right there in the bottom left, uh, 60 game trials that you could try out. Uh, and there's no limit to them, you know. So as soon as you download one, you can play it. You know, if you want, delete it, get rid of it, and then just download another one. And that's 60 games right there that you could try out. And they're always updating these with new ones. Because, uh, again, you know, it helps the game developers as well as the gamer. It gets their game out there so people can see it. And for us gamers, we could try a game without, you know, committing $60 only to get $15 back at GameStop uh, if you return a used game. Uh, so it can definitely save you some money. You know, here's a couple extra things that they have down there. You can get the addition of the uh, PlayStation protection and everything. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's just a brief look at PlayStation Plus. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. I have weekly updates for Battlefield 3 as well as other games. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.